everybody, Holly here from Holiday Any Day. And today I have a super yummy treat for you. Kind of a, um, yeah, it's, it's a different cookie. It's olive oil, lemon, and thyme. And it happens to be vegan. So kind of extra special in that regard. Um, or if you want to use an egg, you can make it unvegan. But I don't think you know the difference. So let's start with this. We're gonna start with some sugar. About a cup of sugar. And instead of using butter, like I mentioned, we're gonna use olive oil. Which gives it a really nice flavor, too. I suppose if you didn't love olive oil, you could use canola or a combination, but I happen to like olive oil, so I'm gonna use olive oil. Okay, then in place of the egg, we're using arrowroot. Arrowroot powder mixed with water. Let's sit here for a second, so make sure to use it right away. Or else it kind of sets up a little bit. There we go. There we go. Okay, and we've got some vanilla, lemon juice, of course, lemon zest to give it loads of flavor. Let's give these guys a little mix to combine them. Okay, goopy goopy. Now to this, let's go ahead and add, it's got baking powder and baking soda. Salt. Then we're gonna add a couple of cups of flour. Make sure to always even off your flour. It's two and a quarter cups, actually. Okay. Guys out of the way. And we're gonna give it a quick mix. Then we add the thyme at the end. So let's give them a mix. It comes together real quick, and it bakes real quick, too. Now, of course, feel free to use beaters for this if you want. I just didn't feel like washing them. <laughs> Okay, so there's that. I'm gonna pop our thyme in, some chopped thyme. Okay, now all we're gonna do is we're going to make these into little balls, okay? And then we're gonna roll them in demerara sugar. I'm gonna say like, you know, I keep it simple, I don't get too fancy. Just little, hmm, about that big. Just drop them in there. What, cherry tomato size, maybe? Okay, so we've got most of our little balls rolled. I got, looks like enough for maybe two more. So we just roll these guys around. Like I said, this is demerara sugar. And it's just kind of a, almost like sugar in the raw. It's kind of chunky. I would not use regular sugar because I think it would melt. This makes it you know, like a nice little crispy, crunchy topping. So I'll show you what we're gonna do with these now. I made these maybe a little bit big, but they're gonna be yummy just the same. Okay, Let's little dudes around. Okay, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna press them down. So they will cook evenly, and I'll show you how, how we're gonna do that. It's real simple. I'm just using the back of my measuring cup. It's easy as that. And actually they kind of crack on the edges a little bit, which almost gives them the look of a little flower. You could use the bottom of a flat glass. Anything would really work. Look how pretty those are. <laughs> Okie doke, he's ready to go in the oven. 375 for about 15 minutes. Keep an eye on him. And I'd probably flip them halfway. Oh, 
Okie doke, we'll come back in a few. Okay. So they don't get very brown, just a little bit brown around the edges. Just a teeny bit. So now, we're gonna let them cool for a few minutes and then we'll taste one. Hi guys, so our cookies have all cooled and now it's time to taste one. And we could be totally boring and taste it with coffee or tea, but I'm gonna taste it with some late harvest wine, of course. So let's give it a go. Mmm, that's so good. And they're not crazy sweet, not at all. Mm -mm. And the crunchy sugar on the top is a nice little crunch. Mm. Let's taste it with this. Mm. Oh, Ooh, that's good. Super good. Mm. Try this recipe. It's easy breezy.